I'd like to ask you a question, and no need to raise your hand on this, but how many of you actually have a succession plan? And one of my other favorite things that I always ask business owners when I meet them, do you have a, a you know, long-term succession plan in place? Oh, yeah, 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 I've got a plan, got a plan. It's all up here, it's all up here. <laughs> So let me ask you, will your business die with you or will you leave a legacy that continues for another generation? To say that I grew up in the shadow of the family business would be an understatement because we had four generations of the same family living in the same house. But it was in 1933 that my great-grandfather, James Bryan, got his first big break when he was awarded the Ford franchise for Bristol. Bryan Brothers were one of the first four main dealers in the southwest of England. So flash forward to 1998, this is what one of our dealerships looked like. My office was just off this showroom. Well, it looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> but looks can be deceiving. You see, at this time we had sales of $120 million a year, six locations, 360 staff. But somehow we were managing to lose almost three and a half million dollars a year. We had a bank overdraft of five million dollars and we had a lot of staff who were entitled because of their length of service rather than focused on customer satisfaction and profitability. And I was expected to turn this business around and so I set out to find someone to help me. Right then, Frank, what's the first thing you would do if you got this job to stop the losses? Coffee. I quite like coffee. You'd find out I drink an unhealthy amount of coffee. In fact, a few years ago, I, I, I got the shake, so I stopped drinking it. Then I realised I was still shaking. I thought, ah, I might as well enjoy myself. <laughs> and the caffeine must have kicked in because he gave me a brilliant step-by-step -step plan of exactly what we were going to do. Frank always said to me that when you're looking for A players for your business, you need to start by finding people who don't know that what you're asking them to do is impossible. Don't just look at experience, but start by looking for people who have transferable skills and a great attitude. Because if you can surround yourself with a team of people that have the right attitude, you can achieve amazing results. Richard had some great stories, um, he was funny and the stories were very relatable. Our audience really enjoyed it. There's very few presenters that engage our group as well as Richard did today. When you're talking about succession planning, you want to hear from someone that has been there and done it and that presents it in a way that is relatable. And Richard does a really nice job of that. He's engaging, he's got good stories. And more importantly, he breaks down what could be a very complicated topic. In my experience, business owners overlook two things. They don't tend to plan far enough ahead. And they have dreams, but they just don't tend to dream big enough. And if you don't dream big enough, you can't possibly reach your full potential. So I hope that when you leave here and go back to your businesses, that you take some time to plan for the future of your business and your family. But I hope also that when you're doing that planning, you don't just dream, but you make sure that you dream big enough. <laughs>